G'day, I'm Nick, we're in Sunny Nelson and I am a proud DNA 500XC owner and, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the DNA 500XC Cuddy, which we are currently on. The dash is cut away and a standard feature of a split screen so you can stand basically on top of the anchor well so it's really easy for manual anchoring um, and you can get a lot of purchase on there so you don't have to be leaning over the top of windscreens and um, doing your backing. So this boat has uh, the extra option of a drum winch on it, an electric drum winch. Driver's side, this particular one is set up with a Garmin uh, sounder and chart potter and it also runs the Honda digital gauge. Um, the standard, it's got the switch panel there which is a factory feature and a 12 volt um, accessory there for charging phones or spotlights or head torches, whatever you might need to charge up while you're at sea. So on the passenger side we have a uh, handrail that comes quite a wee way back towards the uh, seat there so really easy to get hold of and uh, runs right through to the front so um, really useful there. From the front there's uh, on either side there's a, a gunnel storage shelf and plenty of space up the front in front of the footrest for putting dive bags, chili bins, tackle bags, anything that needs to sort of be up out of the way, dry. So this boat has the canopy as an optional extra as well which you'll see. It's, um, built so you can remove two pins and a couple of screws and the whole thing folds down and folds flat lower than the windscreen so for garaging boat covers all of that stuff nice and low profile really simple so as you can see the um, standard seat bases are made to fit a 56 litre uh, long icy tech in there so one each side you can use them for sort of a king and queen seat up as well and really handy to move them up out of the way when you're not accessing those chili bins. Uh, standard featured seats there and with the levered swivel bases so you can lock them in at 90 degree increments so they don't move around on you. Uh, so moving on to the gunnels, uh, this one features U-deck on the top here and the standard features of two cup holders and two rod holders on each side, so four in total uh, on the top of the nice wide gunnels, plenty of room for sitting. Moving on to the back, to the transom, uh, this one features, got the standard uh, shelf in there with the single battery box up the top. Plenty of storage back there for tackle boxes or you could even down the line if you were going to run electric reels run a second battery in there. Um, this is the fabricated bait board here with the shelf underneath. Factory with two rod holders there as well. Um, I guess while I'm here we'll talk about this anchor light as well which is uh, can easily be removed if required. Installed up the front or left in here and that's extendable so it can get quite a wee way up as well. Now that's a standard feature as well as part of all the navigation lights as well. Right, so another option to talk about while we're at the transom. This one has the standard transom each side but you can at the time of ordering select to have a live bait tank built in here. Um, so really handy if you're right into your live baiting obviously but into chasing those kingfish or anything else that feels like it wants to snack on another smaller fish. To the back side of the transom, uh, as is standard on all DNA boats, they've got the router cut cleats and grab and handrails. And this particular model has got a boarding ladder, uh, which is an optional extra that can be easily fitted with the uh, time of ordering. Right, so moving right to the very back, we've got the Honda outboard on this one. Um, this particular boat's uh, got an 80 horse on there, the 75 is the standard. Um, and this boat will run right through, I think the max you can put on is a hundred horsepower. Um, super economical, super quiet, super reliable, um, very efficient. I probably can't say enough good things about the Honda to be honest. Uh, this particular boat has uh, comes on an aluminium DNA alloy trailer. Uh, so a few benefits of that, it has a higher corrosion resistance. Than a lower profile, so when you're on the shore makes it easier to get in and out loading the boat, um, but also a lower centre of gravity for towing which makes it a safer option as well. Also lighter, being um, easier to manoeuvre around the driveway or in the shed or wherever you've got to do it, it's a bit easier on the body as well. So if you're interested in uh, finding out more about purchasing a one of these DNA 500XC Cuddy boats, go to the website which is www.dnaboats.co.nz.